Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in this video I wanted to do uh, two ICO reviews because I know it's been a while um, since I've done those. Um, I wanted to go over the spreadsheet that we've been working on um, as a group, the trading spreadsheet. Um, and I wanted to finish the video by uh, just some general crypto, uh, crypto hopper notes. Uh, so getting into the ICO reviews, um, this is the general spreadsheet that I've been using. Um, and as you can see, the, the prior reviews that I've done, feel free to look back at older videos um, for those. I've done quite a few. Um, I think I've done 20 uh, on, the, on the YouTube channel so far. Um, and I just have two uh, uh, bigger ones that I want to do in this video. So um, uh, this one here is Cody, C-O-T-I. Um, and their, uh, the ICO date is Q2 of, of 2018, so today is uh, March 20, uh, 28th of 2018. Um, and their private sale um, has actually started, uh, what, 10 days ago? Um, so their private sale is happening right now, but their ICO, their proper ICO is happening, um, uh, well, Q2, which is, which is happening soon right now. Um, then I, I put another or new column here, USA availability, uh, because I got requests for that. Um, so basically citizens and residents of the U S, um, can participate, but only if they're, only if they qualify as accredited investors. And again, this is that new SEC ruling um, for ICOs. So if you're not familiar with accredited investors, um, please look that up. But basically, there's specific rules for that. Um, you have to have, uh, um, I think it's an income of over $200,000 a year, and you have to have a, like a million dollar million dollars in assets. Um, there may be some ways around that. Um, I don't want to discuss that here, but uh, feel free to you know look up that on, on your own but to actually get into the review of Cody so I'm kinda of going of with a new review process so it's basically six topics for every um, ICO so team idea execution tokenization price drivers and legality so that's how um, I'm doing these reviews from now on uh, these six key uh, topics. So starting off, um, one being the team. So the team at Cody is large. Um, they have leadership in all areas of business, including management, finance, legal operations, human resources, marketing, social, and design. They have a technical team, which has uh, previous experience in research and software engineering, uh, cryptography, and data science. They also have a large board of advisors and backers who specialize in blockchain finance and investments. Their five-person core block, uh, blockchain team have minimal direct blockchain past experience, but have uh, you know very specialized skills. So the team is is, is fairly good, uh, but limited uh, actual blockchain blockchain experience. Now the actual idea itself, um, the idea is new end-to-end -end universal digital currency that is built for payments with a security layer for buyer confidence and seller rating, which solves the negative effects of uh, current coins. So this trust protocol algorithmically solves the trustworthiness of buyers and sellers based on their behaviors over time. So Cody is focused on the consumer initiated market worth an annual $49.8 trillion. Um, so the idea is basically, you know, going after uh, the negative effects of these current coins and, you know, making them more, tr you know, trustworthy and more secure. Um, third key point is the execution. So regarding execution, they're ramping up their testnet launch of launching the Cody wallet in 2018. Um, with more milestones expected uh, end of 2019. So they do have uh, a decent uh, roadmap um, for this testnet launch. Um, now tokenization, the fourth uh, point here. So it does seem that tokenization is legitimate reason as they are trying to introduce security into their transaction network. The private sale is currently in process for a select group of individual contributors. In March 2018, the public pre-sale is expected to commence in April of 2018. The public sale is expected to commence shortly following the conclusion of the public pre-sale. 
Um, so they do have that laid out um, you know, fairly well. Now, number five, price drivers. So what's actually going to drive the price of the coin up? So, you know, the, the company may be great. Um, the idea of the, of the token, um, the technology, this and that. But at the end of the day, if you invest in this ICO, what's going to drive the price of the coin up? So you buy into the ICO, they, the, the coin hits the exchange what is actually what is a price driver that's going to drive the coin price up so this is a huge huge point when deciding um, whether or not to invest in an ICO so as for price drivers they stand apart from other currency with their uh, meditation system and trust score engine for transaction security however I do not see anything that would drive the coin price up and only see it as an alternative to mediums of exchange um, they not not focused on working with financial institutions, but rather um, deal primarily in matters regarding to consumer payments. So there really isn't any price drivers there, unfortunately. Um, legality, uh, Cody is uh, registered in Gibraltar. Um, the development team, investors and advisors are located across various parts of the world. Citizens and residents of the U.S. can participate if they uh, qualify as a credit investor. So to sum it up, it's another payment coin um, that's kind of trying to be more secure um, than the next one. And I'm not really seeing any price drivers like, you know, what's going to drive the price of that coin up once it hits the exchange. Um, so to me, I would not feel comfortable in investing. So again, if anyone has more you know details about this ICO or if I missed anything, you know, please let me know down in the comments. Again, this is just my first pass. Um, at this ICO and at this review, so feel free to, you know, comment. Um, and as far as you know, actually, I should have talked about this before I did my review. But as far as what they, um, the detail marketing description, so they're building a decentralized and scalable payment network to facilitate efficient global commerce, a payment transaction network supported by native digital currency that can process tens of thousands of transactions per second with zero fees for buyers low to zero fees for sellers and full buyer protection. They're trying to um, combine the best traditional payment methods with the best of digital currencies. So that's that's Cody. Uh, one more ICO review and then we'll get into um, other parts of the video. So Vantage Network. So let me start off with the actual marketing description of Vantage Network. So um, and marketing description is basically what they uh, what they call themselves or what you know what in their mind who they are and what they're trying to do um, they're not just another charity coin or, or, or tracking token um, Vantage Network is a view into a new world where they know exactly where uh, your money goes a contributor makes a donation via credit credit card to a nonprofit organization using the Vantage Network the contributor receives a tracking ID associated with their donation that they can use to track their donation is spent um, by that nonprofit organization similar to a tracking package. Um, the nonprofit organization receives a donation in its Vantage um, account and spends a donation via the Vantage mobile pay app. Every purchase they make using the donation is tracked on the Vantage network using the Neem blockchain. Um, the contributor enters uh, the tracking ID on the Vantage network portal to use all transactions tied to their donation and gets a report of overall campaign fund usage. It's pretty cool. Um, they're basically, so think of, think of it this way. So you donate to the Red Cross. So, so you donate a hundred bucks to the Red Cross. You have no idea how that hundred dollars using or is being used, right? So what Vantage Network is trying to do is, so you donate a hundred dollars, you get to see exactly how that hundred dollars is being used. So is, you know, ten dollars maybe went to the support relief of Haiti. Another ten dollars may have went to, you know, the fires, fire relief of California, you know, the California wildfires. Um, you know, another ten dollars, you know, went somewhere else. And, and it basically shows you literally, you know, down to the cent of where your money went um, and how it was spent or you know maybe five dollars of your charity went to pay the CEO or you know a couple dollars went to pay you know the, uh, one of the the staff members of you know of the company so it's it's really really cool and that's kind of one of the reasons why I don't really uh, I'm very hesitant to c contribute to a lot of these charities 
Um, and don't get me wrong, there are some really good charities out there, but then again, there are charities out there where their CEOs are getting paid millions and millions of dollars, and there is literally zero transparency in, into where your donations are going. So Vantage Network is trying to solve that. So it's really, really cool idea. Um, so uh, my quick analysis is their team is rather large for a startup ICO with leadership in major areas of management, blockchain, finance, legal, PR, operations, infrastructure, marketing, and social media. These folks have experience in starting and leading tech, tech companies. They have three blockchain experts, but they seem to have no uh, past real experience with blockchain itself, Excel, um, which is you know typical in a lot of these ICOs. Um, what they're lacking is core development team, which I'm sure they can spin up or consult out once they have their design requirements. The idea of an end-to-end -end tracking donation platform is wonderful as, uh, as three out of five people would donate more to a nonprofit if, if they could track exactly how their funds are spent, including myself. Um, the market is huge as well as, you know, 258 billion was contributed to nonprofits in 2014. Regarding execution, they are looking to get funding before they create their network platform and private blockchain. That's concerning to me um, with an expected launch date of Q4 2018. Now, it does seem like they have a legitimate reason uh, to tokenize their business. Um, as tracking your donations as it uh, you know gets spent would otherwise be difficult task without tokenization. So the whole tokenization piece makes sense of why they're actually you know using the blockchain and why they're using cryptocurrency to do this. Um, as for price drivers, I am um, I'm not really seeing anything that would drive the coin price up, um, and only seeing it used as a medium of exchange. That's unfortunate. Um, currently is unclear where the Vantage Network team is operating or will be operating for legal regulatory concerns uh, with the fact that they do not have any current product and are looking for funding before they start as well as no viable price drivers in their model it would be hard for me to fully recommend um, you know that we would invest in this ICO so awesome 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 idea uh, it would get people to invest more in charities including myself um, if they can get some price drivers into their model, you know, what would drive the price of the coin up once it hits the exchange, that sort of thing, get a little bit more transparency. Um, I think they may have a winner, but you know, until they, until they get those, uh, into their, into their marketing or in, into their business model, it would be hard for me to invest, um, into that ICO. Um, and again, ICO date is, um, happening here soon. So that's the Vantage Network. Okay, so those are the two ICOs I wanted to review. Um, I wanted to pop into the trading spreadsheet that I've been kind of going over with you guys um, in the past couple videos. So I've been making some changes to it. Um, and I actually am working on another spreadsheet um, with a gentleman. Um, I haven't really talked with, uh, with him about sharing it. I have no idea if he wants me to share it or not, so I don't want to talk too much about it, but we're integrating it with, uh, the, with exchanges. So it has real time API. So basically what we're doing is we are programming in, uh, JavaScript into the script editor. Um, and we're basically taking a spreadsheet and, um, running full APIs into the exchange and pulling out all the, uh, trades. And then, um, you know, pulling that data into the spreadsheet and then, you know, seeing, you know, the highs and the lows of the coins and then basically reporting out on that data of, uh, you know, how the bots, you know, doing and, and that sort of thing. So um, I need to talk with him some more about whether or not, you know, we want to share that or not, but um, hopefully he's, he's comfortable with that. Cause I'd love to be able to share, share that with you guys um, or at least talk about it. Um, um, anyways, back to this spreadsheet that I've been working on. Um, this is definitely shareable. Um, join the uh, Life Soltar Facebook group to get it. It's a Google Sheets doc. I made some changes, so I added this USD and assets on exchange, so this column's new. Um, I put in all the notes because I've been tracking this every day now, um, BTC prices day. and added a new tab as like an example data tab, so we have that now. Um, so feel free to join the Life Zoltar Investing Facebook group to get this. Um, all this is basically uh, posted in that group, and there's a link you can you can click on it, download it, save it to your local uh, Google Drive, and this is all real time data. There's all these uh, 
formulas in the sheet. So it pulls uh, the BTC price per day from Google Finance. Um, so you don't you don't have to do a thing, which is really cool. So basically, what you do is you just put in you fill in your data um, in these white columns. Um, that I have notes here, you know, kind of what to do and, and how to work it. And an example being, you know, BTC assets on exchange, and then it does all the calculations for you, uh, total BTC returns, and then the uh, BTC being traded with your bot. And again, this is more tuned towards Crypto Hopper. So, you know, you would get this um, from your Crypto Hopper uh, homepage and then from your crypto hopper stats page, crypto hopper stats page, and then it basically does all the math for you. Um, and then it pulls in the BTC price. And then I'm also, um, if you you can see here, I'm putting notes in every single day um, of basically what's going on in the market. And you can see the it's been the price has been going down because you know Twitter banned crypto ads, Light Pay Merchant uh, seizes operations, which was you know kind of a partnership with Litecoin. Um, and then you know Litecoin sees a 15% drop in value because of this whole Light Pay shutdown. Um, you know, Reddit removes Bitcoin as a payment. Japan triggers, uh, you know, a fall in Bitcoin with this whole uh, Binance uh, license warning. Um, you know, so there's a lot of correlation between the news here and the price in Bitcoin. So I've been keeping, I literally come in here every day and I update this. So just this information alone is kind of cool. So that might be worthwhile for you guys. Um, so like I said, life's a little investing. Feel free to join that Facebook group and you can get access to this. Um, let me know any questions for that um, in the comments. Um, getting into um, Crypto Hopper. So just a couple notes. Um, so going back here, I mean, you can see the, the market has been very bad, right? So it was up in the eights, up in the lower eights. Now it's been, you know, down in the sevens. What seventy eight hundred right now? So in the bear market, I no longer select all coins. So I was doing the so I'm on Kangaroo package, right? If you watch my prior videos, um, which selects all the coins. Well, if you're running signals, it selects all the coins um, on the exchange. So because of the fact that the market is just so bad, so, so, so bad right now. Um, complete bear market. I'm not doing all the coins and that kind of prevents me from these little pump and dumps too. Um, I'm only selecting the top 150 on coin market cap, which translates to about 63 coins on Bitrix. So the top 150 on coin market cap, um, again, this is uh, top 150 and you know, market cap translates to about 63 coins on Bitrix. Um, Bitrix. So again, this helps me to eliminate a lot of the bad signals coming from Mining Hamster and Crypto Grower, um, and then eliminates kind of you know the small you know pump and dumps, um, which has been giving me um, some bags. So since I've been doing this, it's it's been helping uh, quite a bit. Um, and also, if you're if you're on Bitrix, make sure you watch that last video uh, where I mentioned you know, they're they're delisting a lot of coins and they're doing this almost monthly now. So if you have a lot of open negative positions, um, it may be the reason, or the, the reason why you have those negative positions is because there may be some delisted coins um, that you have open. Um, so make sure you watch that last video um, and you check um, go on Bitrix support forums and their support page and make sure you don't have any of those delisted coins in your open positions or you're holding on to any of those delisted coins in your wallet um, on the exchange. And that's just not Bitrix too. I mean, in any exchange too, they, they could be delisting coins. Um, and just some general notes too. For those on Binance, the wallet scrubber, fe wallet scrubber feature will not work for you. Um, and that's just a general note. I actually forgot to mention that in the last couple videos. Um, and as far as the wallet scrubber, I'm only running with the setting pick up leftovers. So I know there's three options in that wallet scrubber option. Um, I mean, you can select all three, but really the only one that you really need is just that, that top one, or at least I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just telling you what I do. Um, I just run that pick up leftovers option. Um, which just kind of you know sells um, and or trades uh, any leftover partial coins that may be left in the wallet. 
um, which is kind of a good option to have. And again, just to note, guys, you know, please don't follow my settings blindly um, in those other videos or even any of this that I mentioned. I'm always updating my settings, select, you know, choosing different coins depending on mark conditions. I'm literally turning the bot off when it goes into a bear market, um, when the, you know, when BTC is going down, when the market's going down, I'm turning the bot off, I'm turning buying off, you know, what's working one day may not be working the next. I literally have three crypto hopper accounts, one account I'm running TA strategies on, one account I'm running signals on, one account I'm running uh, tether strategies on another account I'm working with a gentleman in the UK on so I mean I have multiple multiple accounts that I'm playing with um, all trying different strategies so please don't follow exactly what I what I say or, or do in these videos because it's literally I'm still playing um, that goes for anything on YouTube really I mean it's um, just you know we're just kind of showing you what we do um, and what can what's working one day may not work in, work for the next, especially in this crypto market right now, because anything goes. I mean, you know, Twitter's banning ads, Facebook's uh, banning ads, Google's banning ads. And it's just every day there's just bad news hitting the market. And it just keeps, you know, one day the market's up a little bit. And then the next day some news comes out and the market's down again. So it's just so hard to, you know, have, you know, a set setting um, that, you know, works for, you know, day in and day out. It just, it doesn't happen guys. It really doesn't. So please don't, um, take, you know, what I say, uh, as written in stone because I'm always changing. Um, and just, you know, feel free to follow the channel and I'll just keep updating, updating you guys on what I'm doing and follow the other YouTube channels too, just so you get an idea of, you know, what we're all doing and, um, you know, I'm not, I'm by no means an expert at all um, in Crypto Hopper or anything like that. I'm just, you know, sharing my journey and showing you guys what I've been doing um, and what's been, you know, kind of working, what's been not working, and obviously showing you, you know, what I'm doing now. And I just explained to you, I literally have three accounts one, one on Tether, one on TA, actually two on TA, one BTC base, one Tether base one on signals and then another um, I'm helping a gentleman in the UK with with a BTC base on signals so I have multiple uh, accounts that I'm playing with um, testing different strategies so it's it's literally every day I'm changing something so please don't uh, one video may say something but please don't set that in stone um, so what uh, just a, another note too. So three months back, I started working part time for a crypto asset management company uh, that I mentioned in the past couple videos as an ICO analyst and kind of you know their their uh, crypto expert so to speak and um, trying to get more professional you know like inside details um, you know into the financial and crypto markets um, from them. Uh, you know, but depending on the sensitivity um, and what's allowed to be shared and whatnot, uh, I need to be careful with that, obviously. But anyways, they did just release some news. Um, they're expecting, you know, another kind of short term drop between now and the end of the month um, when the next week or two, which is well, the end of the month is only three days away. Um, but they did mention that they are expecting another drop or at least kind of staying where it is, at least under 8000. Um, and they did mention the fact that uh, for the past two months, the entire market has had a you know strong tendency to move in tandem with BTC, which I've definitely noticed that. I'm sure you guys have too. Um, so the market has literally been following um, the price of BTC. So if BTC goes down, everything goes down. If BTC goes up, everything goes up. If BTC stays stable, more than likely, everything else and when I say everything I mean the alts right the other coins kind of stay um, along with BTC so you can kind of see that if I go to coin market cap uh, BTC is at uh, 7900 right now and it's you know there's some red and red a mixed bag of red and green in here um, with a few a few outliers but for the most part it's pretty pretty stable so all right, guys, that's it for this video. Um, I want to start doing some more ICO reviews, like I said, too. Um, and I'll keep, you know, kind of updating on the Crypto Hopper stuff as I make uh, adjustments. And feel free to let me know what you guys want to see, too, in the next videos. 
Um, I'll keep trying to make at least a video every week um, or more. Um, and we'll go from there. All right, guys. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.